the sales pipeline in simple sales tracking is an important part of the software and an important process uh, to follow as a sales team. Uh, in this video, I'll walk through how the pipeline is set up uh, in simple sales tracking and walk you through uh, what's meant by the various stages of lead to opportunity through to account. Um, if you've been in sales for a while, this is going to be uh, pretty obvious to you. Um, but it's often helpful to see how the software um, follows this process and how uh, you'll then be able to uh, adapt the software to, to work for your needs. Um, you'll also see how some of that uh, process can be customized. So we'll start off by logging in. And the first thing we'll do is begin uh, by adding a new lead. Now, the risk is that this video gets to be very long. Uh, don't want that to happen so uh, we're gonna skim over some of the capabilities um, with the intention of, of just focusing in on how you know at a high level how does the process work so check back for the other videos on how uh, you know some of the more detailed uh, features are working so let's start off by creating a new lead which I can do from that button on the start page uh, so in this case I'm, I'm just gonna keep everything generic here um, what everyone's used to seeing So a lead is much what you would expect. Uh, you'll notice though uh, that the information that's being requested here it has to do with a single person. Um, so a lead in simple sales tracking wouldn't contain information about multiple people. Each lead would represent a single person at a single business or just a person on their own. Um, once that lead gets converted to an opportunity or account, we can associate multiple people um, with the record. but as a starting point this reflects a single person a lead may or may not be somebody who you've spoken with and bef uh, spoken with before uh, this point um, but generally it's not somebody uh, it's not a business or a person where you've I identified or uh, qualified that a specific uh, opportunity exists so we can enter any amount of information that we want to add with uh, for this lead um, and I'll, I'll just leave it like that for now I might choose this is our custom these are our custom fields we'll go over that in a different video but you'll see that that saved it as a new lead uh, the lead is called Doe Enterprises which is the name of the company if I look at the leads list here I can see Doe Enterprises um, I can see here that this is showing me information about um, the companies that I'm selling to if I also wanted to see the um, contact name that's associated I could choose contact name click Save and then I can see the person's name that's associated with that as well um, if I was selling instead of selling business to business I was selling uh, business to consumer I could click add new add a lead um, ah, Smith and save it and if I don't enter a company then that information is represented as a person so I can see now my lead is Bob Smith contact name again is Bob Smith because it's just a person going back to Doe Enterprises um, at this stage let's assume we've spoken with John and we've been discussing with him uh, an actual opportunity so say we had a phone call we go in here to edit um, we could do this at the opportunity stage but I'll, I'll show you how to do this at the lead stage I click to show more here and I can actually enter some information about the opportunity so let's say uh, we're pretty sure the amount is five thousand dollars we're gonna leave the estimated amounts as zero and we can see that information now is in here at the point uh, now where we want to convert them we choose the convert button and what what it's asking us now is do we want to create two diff two records essentially so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lead record and we're converting that to an opportunity um, we're taking the information about the specific person in this case John Doe and we're gonna create a new contact record so in simple sales tracking uh, if you're um, selling business to business contacts often are going to represent uh, people and they're associated with uh, opportunities and accounts so I'm going to leave this as the default that's what I want it to do I'm gonna click the convert button and I can see now my lead has gone from a lead to an opportunity all the information that was contained in the lead is now pulled across 
and I can see also that I've got a contact here not named John Doe and if I open this in a new window I can actually see there's a contact record um, with the associated, oppor uh, associated opportunity and this can be information that's specific to John. What's helpful about this is um, John may be your first contact at uh, Doe Enterprises but if you may, you may have multiple people that you're t speaking with, other decision makers or you know technical managers or product specialists, what, whatever it is, um, you can track that and, and keep the relationships in order. Um, once you're at the opportunity stage, you have the opportunity to set up uh, opportunity stages, so stages within uh, while something is still an opportunity, while your sale is still an opportunity. Um, the defaults are initial meeting, needs analysis, proposal and negotiation. Um, you can switch between them by just clicking on um, on the links on the uh, page here. Um, these are, you can customize them from the admin area, so your admin uh, for your group has the ability to, to change those. Um, we won't go into those details right now. Let's assume now at this point we've spoken with John, we've gone back and forth, and he's uh, signed off on uh, on the project or agreed to purchase the product. And so we've got a couple of options. In this case, we're going to choose that the opportunity has been won. Um, if we chose that the opportunity was lost, it would um, change the status of the opportunity to from in progress to lost. Um, and the third option we have is actually to d downgrade the opportunity back to a lead. So in this case, we're going to choose one. And we're, yes, we want to convert the opportunity to an account and mark it as one. So we convert it. And there we go. The opportunity is now an account. They're a paying customer, and that's what this uh, being an account is reflective of. Um, something that's worth pointing out, uh, because in different software packages, this may work differently. In simple sales tracking, you, an account is not created until they are a paying customer. So you don't create an account and then attach leads to that account or opportunities to that account. Um, an account only comes along, uh, by default, only comes along once that lead has worked through to an opportunity or then, then through to an account. Um, if you found that you weren't using leads or you didn't need to use leads, of course you can start uh, any sale as an opportunity or even start it as an account. Um, one last thing I'll go through is say in this case Doe Enterprises is now your customer and a year from now you're going to uh, you speak to them or any amount of time in the future you speak to them and uh, you've identified a new opportunity. Uh, you can click the little plus icon here to create a new opportunity. New opportunity with Doe Enterprises and we can add an amount any other information that we want to add uh, maybe this is a different product category and we save it it's defaulted the account to being uh, Doe Enterprises so it's taken us now into the account uh, uh, rather the opportunity that we created if I click on the account here it takes us back to the account you can see now we've got a ten thousand dollar opportunity in progress with these guys and our original um, $5,000 opportunity that's now won. And so in this way you can keep together uh, all of your uh, sales to do with a particular company. And that's it. That's how the sales process, uh, the pipeline in simple sales tracking is set up. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, if you have a look at some of the other videos, we'll go into some of the details on how, you know, the nitty gritty of, of how each of these, um, the areas work and adding tasks and, and doing some of the customizations. Thanks for watching.